at-home facials. What do you have in your cupboards or in your refrigerator that you can use to give yourself an at-home facial? Hi everyone, this is Misty with Rejuvenation MD in Burlington and Bellingham, Washington. And today I pulled some things out of my cupboards and my refrigerator to show you that you can give yourself an at-home facial. So the first step of course in any facial is to cleanse your skin. And then after that is a good exfoliant. So hands down, my all time favorite exfoliant is Zeo Polish. This stuff is amazing. It smells fantastic and the skin just glows after you use it. If you don't have Zeo Polish in your home, then we can use different exfoliants. So baking soda is fantastic. It's very gentle. You can use it on all skin types. So just add a little bit of baking soda with water and scrub the skin for about two minutes and that's fantastic. Uh, you can use this all over the whole body. Use a nice lovely shea butter afterwards and your skin will feel amazing. If you want something a little bit more aggressive than the baking soda, you can mix brown sugar with either olive oil or a different type of oil. I don't really love the smell of olive oil on my skin, so I carry almond oil. So here I have almond oil and grapeseed oil. So this is the oil that I use as a lotion. And then you can use these oils to give yourself a massage after you do your exfoliant. So very important in any facial, the massage aspect. Not only does it feel really, really good, but we're moving the lymphatic system. So when we get those puffy eyes underneath our skin, uh, that's that lymphatic system that slows down while we're sleeping or we're more sedentary. And then on top of that, massage gives circulation. Where there's circulation, there's movement and oxygen. And oxygen gives the skin a very healthy, dewy glow. So if you've ever had a hydrofacial, you'll notice how dewy your skin looks afterwards. And that's that combination of excuse me, exfoliation, lymphatic drainage, and of course all those great serums that we push into the skin. So then we'll talk about the eyes. How do we treat our eyes in a home facial? And caffeine is wonderful. So caffeine moves circulation. Uh, black tea has an amazing amount of caffeine in it. And it's really easy just to take a tea bag, soak the tea bags of course in hot water, then let them cool down. And you can apply that to the eyes while you have your mask on as well and take a nap for 20 or 30 minutes and you'll feel really refreshed and I'll calm the eyes down and brighten the eyes. And another alternative for that is loose tea. So here I have some calendula tea and calendula is amazing for calming. So you could take a cheesecloth and put some calendula inside that. Again, soak it in water. You can even put them in the refrigerator afterwards and they get cool, especially on a nice hot summer day. That feels really good and refreshing. And you know, any tea works really well in facials. Rose hip is amazing. You can buy rose hip loose tea. Same thing, use four by fours or cheesecloth, soak it in there. And also you can just take the tea itself, put it in a little spray bottle and use it as like a toner. So again, really great proprieties in a lot of different teas. And then now we'll come to the facial part. So I like to use lactic acid to brighten skin. In the spa, we'll use lactic acid in peels that we do and in products that we use at home to help lift pigmentation, to eat away dead skin and brighten up the skin. And plain Greek yogurt makes a wonderful mask. So I have my big jar of yogurt here. <clears throat> you don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. Just about a teaspoon here. Put that in my bowl. And then I'm gonna use raw cacao. So raw cacao, of course, comes from the cacao bean that makes chocolate, which I love. But it's also incredibly high in antioxidants. So very, very, very nutrient dense. And it's also anti-inflammatory. So it will also help calm down the skin. So I'll just take about a fourth of a teaspoon, add that to the yogurt, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of honey. So honey is antibacterial and antimicrobial. Uh, sometimes I'll have acne clients use honey just to cleanse their skin and to calm down their skin. Their skin's usually pretty 
uh, irritated. So I'm just gonna put a little bit as well, about a fourth of a teaspoon. Okay, and I'll mix all that up. It's not only great about this, you can eat it afterwards. And there you have it, there's your mask. So we have Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, that is high in lactic acid, brightening the skin and eating dead skin. We have raw cacao, very high in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory. And we have honey, antimicrobial, antibacterial. So you just can put this all over your face and make a little extra and do it on your neck and in your chest as well. Anytime we're treating the face and we're not treating neck and chest, you're gonna see that later. You might see it in pictures or maybe you're looking at somebody else sometime and you can see that they're doing something really good for themselves with their face, but then there's a big difference between their neck and the chest. So we always treat, and we always want to treat the decollete and the neck. And then if there's any left over, you can eat it. So that is a wonderful mask. And if you did that every day for a week, I know that seems like a lot, leave it on for about 30 minutes, it's going to dry and get crackly. You will make a noticeable difference in your skin and I would love to see that so if you wanted to try this I challenge you to do that try it for seven days in a row take a picture before and a picture after and send that to us and I would love to see that um, I'm going to give you another little tip that a lot of people don't know about and that's castor oil the benefits of castor oil so castor oil is a little bit like a snake oil it works for so many things but it helps grow eyelashes and eyebrows so you can just take a q-tip run that along the lash line and also your brows if you need that and of course it will take time like any eyelash uh, enhancement serum it takes about six weeks before you're going to see any differences and it's the same with castor oil but if you took, put this by your toothbrush and you remember to do it every single day I, I can almost guarantee you you'll see a difference so that's it for today uh, if you don't have any of these things uh, we would be happy to put something together for you at Rejuvenation and MD. So we have some wonderful masks that you can take home. Uh, Effiance has a firming, hydrating mask that's fantastic. Uh, we have RMD Biocellulose mask that works wonderful for wound healing and hydration. Excuse me, hydration. And we can put some other products together for you that can help you at this time when you're at home. We miss you. We look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.